What's up everybody, it's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. This is my 30 days later, one month later, full review of the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G Prism Q Black model. Uh, this is the at and prepaid model. Um, like I said before in my unboxing or three days later video, uh, you can get this phone um, at at and prepaid or at Walmart um, for the lower um, price of 250 uh, with the brand new customer um activation and uh yeah so uh once again um the phone is 6.5 inch full hd uh plus infinity display with cor uh cornering gorilla glass 3 got 48 megapixel uh main camera 12 megapixel um uh, 5 plus and an additional 5 megapixel quad rear cameras uh with flash 32 megapixel selfie and both sides of the cameras run in 4K uh, for video recording, uh, 4K 30 frames per second. You got 128 gigs of internal memory and expandable storage of up to one terabyte um, of storage. Fast charging with 4,500 milliamp battery. You got face recognition, Android 10 on deck, and I did get the January security patch uh, yesterday. Um, and something they did not mention on the box you get in display fingerprint and you get the regular pattern and pins um, for security uh, reasons. So, um, and not to mention, again, this phone has the headphone jack. The phone has the headphone jack. All right. Let's keep that in mind. SD card slot, headphone jack. And it comes with a charger brick. And it comes with a cable. All right. So I just threw that in there. Um, okay. So, um, How's this phone been performing um, for your boy Two Phones for free? Um, <laughs> considering I've been out the game from Samsung for a minute, and this is my first official uh, XNO's uh, processor Samsung phone. To be honest, I I, I, I like it, man. I love it. Um, yeah, I, I I love the phone. Um, I mean, I'm do, I'm doing everything on it that comes with the phone that's included with the phone meaning all the different types of settings and stuff like that. I'm using everything on the phone, the QR codes. I'm using a link to Windows, uh, mobile hotspot when I need to, um, the power saving mode, if I want to save battery and extend the battery life, of course. Um, blue light tint, you know. Um, I'm using uh, Adobe Atmos with the headphones. Um, I, I don't I don't use the Samsung uh, Kid feature because I don't... You know, I don't I don't let Michaela mess with my phone or anything like that. So, to be honest, I really don't have no need for it. So I I don't use I don't use that one. Um, I I've done the quick share and all that stuff like that. Um, NFC payments I've used that. I am using the secure folder. I do have Bigsby routines turned on, and when I want to wind down, I use the focus mode. And one thing I have not used is the dark mode. I have not touched the dark mode feature at all on the phone. Um, so that's one thing I really, a uh, couple of things I really haven't been using. Um, but yeah, and to me, um, the, the phone is doing what it's supposed to do. Now if people want to, you know, um, bash cameras and everything like that, that. That's fine. I mean, there's no real perfect smartphone camera. Um, <laughs> I mean, this phone has 128 gigabytes of internal memory. So you can, if you feel like you need to download a, um, some type of open source app, camera app, that does more than what the Galaxy A51 does, the A51 5G. And to me, it has all like all the features you will want. Um, this phone has video mode. Um, it has promo. It has promo. It has macro. It has um, food mode, night mode. Has uh, live focus. You know, so hyperlapse, slow motion, um, super slow. It has AR zone, big speed vision. So I mean, all the basics that you know most most of you know Samsung phones come in. It got the wide angle lens. It has the wide angles set up. So uh, single take. You got the single take feature, and you know, and that, that's all I want to get into um, when it comes to the to the cameras and, th and things and that sort like that. Um, and I did leave it stock, so this is like stock Samsung One UI. This is the 2.5 version, but I did, like I mentioned, I did get the um, January uh, security patch yesterday. 
Uh, so it's up to date with security patches uh, for the most part and things in that sort. Um, like I said in, a, in, in previous videos, the thing that really um, that they blocked for, for me personally was the FM radio chip. Um, I know a lot of you all really don't care about FM radio, but if you don't have service, if you don't download and don't have service and you lose connection, you don't have Wi-Fi connectivity to stream Pandora, Spotify, whatever like that, um, the FM radio would be another alternative to listen to music um, on the go, listen to news on the go, podcasting on the go. But since I have podcasting applications and music applications that I can um, store all those um, audible books and everything like that to the SD card, the SD card is good enough for me uh, personally, for my personal use. Um, it has to always on display, as you can see. And it shows you the end display fingerprint, which it lags. You know, that, that was a few seconds, right? It lags a little bit. It's not perfect. I do um, use the, hold on. I was trying to get the uh, edge. It keeps switching the edge. Yeah. I don't know why it changed the edge, but I did have the edge features on. I don't know why it just turned it off. I don't know, but yeah. So, um, and I mean, and you can customize the phone any way you want to. You got the wallpaper, the themes, the widgets, home screen settings, uh, what have you, stuff like that. Now, normally, I don't like talk about this or don't see anyone talk about this, but we're going to discuss this anyway. Um, the Galaxy App Store. Let me. Uh, not, okay, so it's in uh, it's in the G's. It's in the G's. All right, Galaxy App Store. All right, so the Galaxy App Store is really useful, in my opinion, uh, from my experience. Uh, using the Samsung now, you get pop-ups every now and then. Like I said, you could just remove them. But, I mean, they got a lot of free stuff in here, man. A lot of free stuff. I don't care if you guys don't like it, but it is there for people that like the for free. So the Galaxy App Store does offer free things. You get, um, you know, you get free photo books. You get free phone cases. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You get free memberships, subscriptions, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, you just got to, like, browse through it. Um, you know, they advertise in the Xbox Game Pass, and this is compatible with the Xbox Game Pass. I just haven't bought my controller yet, so once I get my controller, we will do a review on the Xbox Gaming Pass and talk about it on this particular smartphone, the A51 5G, okay? Now, this is the AT&T model, but it can get unlocked um, just using um, the device unlocked. Um, when, once I pass the 60 day mark and in between 60 days to six months, it will like automatically unlock and I'll be able to use T-Mobile and AT&T services on the smartphone. So keep that in mind. I mean, if, if you want to save a few bucks, you want to get the fully unlocked model, you go spend an additional hundred bucks. So um, you can get it from Samsung.com and get it for 350. I spent 250, but you can get it for 350 at Samsung website. I'll leave the link in the description box. And also, I did uh, <clears throat> I did find a way to get um, Android messages, uh, Google messages to get RCS. So I am using RCS messaging on the Samsung Galaxy A51. I am not using a stock um, Samsung messaging app because people were complaining about uh, your RCS is not on, RCS is not on, with you and all that. So... Um, things in that sort. You do get Wi-Fi calling um, on this device. Of course, you got the latest Bluetooth connectivity. So, <laughs> give or take care, man. Uh, this phone comes with six gigs of RAM. So, give or take. You need that much RAM or you don't need that much RAM. Just remember, this phone has additional RAM. So, you can have as many apps open as possible as you want to on this device. Now, you know, I, I don't really like messing with this, but it's there. You know, it's there. It is what it is. Uh, this is Samsung's feed. I will prefer Google feed, which is practically in the Google app. I will prefer the Google feed over the Samsung feed. That's just my preference. But uh, from what I've seen today in the news, that the S21, I think it's going to be the first phone to allow the Google feed as an option 
um, to swipe over like that. But um, hopefully I can port that over, uh, that feature over or update to the A51 and I'll show you um, how well it is. Now, some people might not like the at and Entertainment widget, but I think I think it's like decent for the simple fact that um, it's showing you like the at and sponsorships and at and partners, which is HBO Max, at and TV, DirecTV, CW, um, CNN, Bleacher Report for your sports, uh, Bleacher Live, and then like great uh, big stories, stuff like that. And then you got some a few games, but Give or take, and you can always swipe over. My bad, I opened it up on accident. Um, you can always hit the button, and then they give you like a few tips and tricks um, about you know AT and T and five G and stuff like that. That's if you like it. Otherwise, yes, you can hold it down, um, hold it down, and then yeah, you can remove from home screen. And boom. I mean, simple as that. You can make the phone the way you want to, and that's another cool thing that I like that Samsung still kept in the um that didn't lock it down like other phones and stuff like that so um yeah um like I said for my experience it's doing everything I wanted to do like yeah I'm missing AK recording I'm missing wireless charging I missed the 1440p but on, on a normal average consumer rate majority of these people are not caring about that all right you're not caring about that. Would you care about bloatware? Yeah, you would care about bloatware because it's on your phone. But you can always remove the apps. All right? So you can always remove apps. This is how you delete apps. All right? You just hold down on it, and then you just say uninstall. Uninstall, click OK. And then boom, it's uninstalled. So, yeah, you can remove apps from this device. All right? Um, but, yeah, man, for... For what it's worth, man, if you can, and if AT&T is great coverage in your area, I would say this is the best budget phone for AT&T services. And then, like I said, later down the line, you can unlock it. And then if you want to switch to Mint Mobile or T-Mobile or even Google Fire, what have you, you can do that because they all run on the T-Mobile network. And this phone has all the bands of uh, T-Mobile, like Band 66, uh, band 12, band 2, uh, I think band 14, um, I think band 71 as well. And for, for uh, AT&T, it has uh, band 30. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you should be perfectly great. I mean, video, the video quality on here, like I said, it's a 1080p uh, full HD um, plus. So, so videos really do pop. This is a Super AMOLED display. So videos... Uh, do pop now. I'm going to like turn this down. 24 hours with Gal now I'm going to turn this down. Now the thing is with most people, you got to go through the settings, right? So let me um point out the settings. So yeah, here you go. All right, see this one's stuck at 720p. All right, as you can see, it goes all the way up to 1080. So you just change it to 1080. I mean, if you want, if you want like throttled um device if you want throttled data yeah of course of course you're not gonna see this picture look how good that looks that looks pretty nice now if i was to pop up an 8k video or something like that let me let me see something let me uh hold on for a moment let me let me pull up an 8k video all right 8k video we about to pop that up real quick all right so no it's not gonna show you an 8k but I can I can get some great footage. I get some great viewing on this phone. Now let let me make sure that the settings is work. Nope. See, they defaulted back to 40p, which is I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's weird. So this is why you have to you have to change your settings. But you'll see a difference once it pulls it up or whatever like that. I don't know why it's taking so long, but once it pull it up in 1080p, you'll see a. Uh, major difference um in the screen in the display in the resolution all right so here we go now let's just make sure that it is in 1080p yep it's in 1080p all right so yep here we go all right and it's it's because like i'm on my data so once again 
It varies for your data usage and your data connection. If data connection is bad, yeah, you're gonna have some little buffering. So let me go ahead and uh, let me just turn it on Wi-Fi real quick. That's the 5G tweaking. 5G tweaking. All right, so it should be kicking in. Come on, five. Come on, Wi-Fi, kick in. <laughs> Uh, okay, there I go. All right, now I should change. Now look how beautiful that is showing. All right, so yeah, so you're gonna have great um, video resolution, uh, video display and viewing on this phone. Once again, this is the A51 5G, um, one of the cheapest. Now, I have to admit, Someone pointed this out to me, and shout out to my boy Santana. Um, now, don't get me wrong, the S20 FE or the S20 or Google Fi is $400. But I found out something this morning. The A71 5G on Google Fi is 200 bucks, and it's 6.7 with the same resolution, the same type of specs. You get like a 64 megapixel camera, but... It's, it's similar specs to the A51, and it's actually fifty dollars cheaper than the AT&T prepaid A51 5G, which is insane. So if you prefer to save fifty more dollars and get the A71, which is the bigger brother of this one, I say get the A71 5G on Google Fi. But if T-Mobile is trash and Sprint is trash in your area, and you don't have no US cellular connection, then this will be your next bet. Or Find the A71 5G on AT&T. All right, so man, um, I, I like I said, I would recommend this if you need an SD card, any charging brick, and all that. If you need everything to come in the box for the low price, and you just want a Samsung phone, I say get this one or the A71 5G, and yeah, probably the S20 or the S20 FE. It give or take, it's a lot of options out here. It just depends on what you're looking for in a smartphone. All right? What are you looking for out of an Android device? You want the headphone jack? You know, you want the cameras? You know, you want the end display fingerprint? It all depends on what you want out of a smartphone. Okay, but one month later, and this is the only device I've been using personally. I like it. My, forget that. I love it. I love it. This is... This is this is one of my favorite phones now. So, outside of the few dislikes and the, the, the few takeaways, it, it gets the job done for me. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's your boy Two Phones with the A51 5G full review one month later. Only phone I've been using, hands down. Man down. There goes that man. I'm out.